Thank you for joining us this afternoon. My name is Jose Aranda. I work at the library at Doñana Community College. And today's presentation is gonna be on one of our resources that we have for you. It's called Brain Fuse. Uh, the previous slide mentioned a couple things for you to follow during this presentation. Um, I'd like to remind you that this presentation will be recorded and will be available afterwards. Uh, for those of you that would like a copy or if you would like to refer others and we can help them uh, that way as well. Um, if you would hold off your questions or I mean, I'm sorry, if you would, if you have questions, write them in the chat box. I have my two colleagues, Therese and Susan helping me with and um, we'll try to answer them uh, as we go through the presentation, but if not, definitely at the end. So uh, for those of you affiliated with Doñana Community College, <clears throat> this is a picture of our homepage. Uh, our URL is listed up on top. Even if you're not affiliated with Doñana Community College, we invite you to check out our homepage. We have lots of resources. Some are for the community, such as BrainFuse. If you scroll down, I couldn't take uh, a big enough picture of the entire homepage. So this is uh, on the left-hand side, what you would see at the bottom of that homepage. And more, more importantly is the link to BrainFuse. Um, on the right-hand side, you should see there are a couple of other icons and uh, BrainFuse is in the middle. Um, and I'll explain shortly uh, between job now and help now. Those are two sides of BrainFuse. For the online tutoring services, the one you want is called Help Now. BrainFuse is the company. So on our homepage, this is the link you will find for access to BrainFuse. BrainFuse is provided to all the residents of New Mexico through the State Library. And the State Library has a website called elportalnm.org. It's free, you can go to this website. They have lots of resources, and one of which is BrainFuse. So if you see the red arrow there, there too you'd see the icon and link to BrainFuse. So those are two different um, places you can go uh, to access BrainFuse. So I, had, I briefly mentioned mm -hmm. There's another face to BrainFuse. Um, this is the other side of BrainFuse. BrainFuse also has JobNow, which is their side of the house that deals with helping you build a resume, um, practice interview questions, pre prepare for certain exams and certificates for you to get your next job. So, I just wanted to uh, illustrate that for you, that BrainFuse has two, two sides of it, help now and job now. One is to help you with online tutoring and uh, with school. And the other one is to help you with uh, working on your resume and finding your next job. So when you go to the, when you click on the icon on BrainFuse, you should get this page. This is their homepage. So I have the three sections of their um, services highlighted here in circles. They are listed under expert help, study, and collaborate. And you'll see at the by the time this presentation ends, you'll see the difference between those services. Um, but they are all part of help now. But two big important things that you need to remember about help now. <clears throat> One, you need to create an account before you can use any of this. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And the other thing is uh, to be aware of their hours of operation. If you can see there in the blue, it tells you they're only open in the afternoon till, mid, uh, till late evening from two p.m. to 11 p.m. So keep that in mind. Uh, and that's more or less uh, 
talking about the live help, the expert help, the live tutoring. Some of the other services are available, you know, around the clock. And I think you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about and which ones those are, which ones those are as I go through the presentation. So this is what you will see when you try to log in to BrainFuse, help now, right? It's asking you to type in your username and password. But if you've never had an account with them, you will have to create one. So you would click on sign up and on the left hand side of this slide, you should see uh, the sign up um, portion of that. It's basically going to ask you to create a username and a password and some hints to remind you in case you forget that. Very common uh, process for signing up uh, for accounts nowadays. So that's the sign up. Once you sign up, you would then uh, return and log in. And so on the right hand side of this slide is a picture of me signing in and what you should see when you do that successfully. Um, on the right hand, uh, on the top right hand corner, you will see my username. So when you do log in successfully, uh, you will see your username appear on the right uh, hand corner there. So now I am in to help now. The first thing you'll see when you successfully log in is this page of live help. So live help is actually asking for a real person, a real tutor to help you or your child or someone with homework. So on this page, you would select what topic you're uh, in need of assistance with and then what subject. And once you do that, you would then click on the get live help button. So the next several slides are going to illustrate for you an example of doing that. I am not going to go through every topic or every subject that would just take too long. Just know that what I'm about to show you is going to give you an example of how to go about logging in for this live assistance. And of course, uh, we're here to help you. So if you ever need any assistance, uh, you can get in touch with us at the end of the presentation. I'll provide you with our contact information to do so. So when you click, when you select the topics, these are the topics currently available through Help Now to assist you. You got your English, your math, your science, your social science, and some other things there as well. So I used an example of math. What's available in math? These are the areas that they'll be able to help you with math. So they got all your advanced math there but there's basic math underneath Algebra 2. So that's going to be probably the area if you're needing assistance with uh, a student in elementary school, for example, or middle school. And once you select those two options and you go to get live help, you will then get a new window up here, which is what the left-hand side of this slide is, is trying to illustrate for you. You will get this new window um, where it's a blank workspace with some tools on the bottom and then a chat box on the right-hand side. And that is where you and the tutor will interact. On the right-hand side of this slide, I have a picture of an interaction I had with a tutor yesterday. Um, so um, I asked a basic question about how this worked and uh, what was required of people for them to interact with uh, Help Now. And um, hopefully you can read her responses there. She was saying that they don't solve the question for the student if, if when you approach them with a, a need, for example, in math, they show you uh, the tools and help you figure it out. So that's, I think, important to understand. 
uh, especially if you're going to suggest a service to students or if you're an educator uh, as well. Um, and then I asked a question about special tools, special software, and, and none of that is required. The tutor responded that they simply can use or will use calculators and some of the tools you'll see there on the screen to, again, help the student understand uh, their specific need. So in a real session, uh, you will see the white space there on the left-hand side with, with uh, other things. For in this case, math, you'll see numbers and uh, both sides, the tutor and the student, and we'll be able to use some of those tools there where they can draw or write. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to uh, provide that for you, but uh, I hope that this image um, provides you with an understanding of how it will work. And I'll, I'll uh, give a recap of this at the end of the session uh, that your interaction with the tutor is always recorded and the transcript will be made available when the session ends. So there's that level of, of, uh, of uh, oversight and uh, the ability to recall what you just experienced at a later date. When you finish the session, you will get something similar to this page. It's gonna ask you from them to fill out a quick survey. And um, if there were any issues technically to let them know, up on top, you see a picture of a transcript, email transcript. So you have the ability to email the transcript that just happened through that session and also to replay the session. So I think these are excellent features to know about in Help Now. But there are much more uh, options than just getting live assistance. Help Now houses, so the following slides that I'm gonna talk to you about are gonna uh, introduce to you everything else that's available in Help Now. Okay, so what I just showed you was the live, getting live assistance with a tutor. Everything else that I'm gonna show you is, is in addition to that, that you'll find on the homepage. So this is the writing lab and how it works. You basically have to upload a file that you want them to review and uh, they will receive it on their end. And it's about 24 hours, sometimes sooner, they'll let you know, but it's about 24 hours that they'll then send it back to you through Help Now with comments, edits, and suggestions. They have policies. I wasn't able to write them all because there's many. I can tell you from personal experience that they're not gonna write the, the essay for you. So for those of you that are concerned about that, they're not gonna do that. They provide proofreading and edits and suggestions. Uh, so what you have to do then is log back in the next day or whenever and access uh, that file. So it's basically an upload, send, wait, come back, log in, access, and then download what they provided for you. They have another section. If you don't want to do the live tutoring interaction, you can email your questions. Again, you have your subjects and your topics. You can write your email question there. And uh, expect a response, kind of similar to what uh, I just explained in the other slide previously. Uh, if you were concerned about the topics that you could uh, consider for doing this email of questions on the right hand side of this slide is a picture of those topics as well. So uh, before I close this slide, if you see on the left hand side under send questions and the blue question mark, it has my username. It says Send a question allows you to ask a question any time of the day and get a written response from one of our tutors within one business day. Feel free to attach supporting documentations to better describe your question. 
So this is a page for my account. I have used Help Now three or four times in the last couple of years, and it keeps track of uh, the activity. This is an image of um, all the times that I've sent them files for them to provide feedback for me. So that's what I tried capturing uh, in this image. So again, something to know about uh, as parents and educators, especially for the little ones that you can check on how many times the student accessed or tried sending files and what the results of those were. They have this thing called Language Lab. If you click on it and you select the subject, the option and the only option they have is Spanish. So in essence, they have a live tutor that can help the student with learning Spanish. That is what Language Lab is about. If you are interested in helping a student trying to learn English, that is uh, something I had to research and I barely got the uh, response today and I did not include it in this presentation. So I can help you if that's the case later if you send me an email or call me or whatever on how to find that. But just know that Language Lab is really for foreign languages. So you go to Language Lab, you select the subject, Spanish is the only option you can get assistance in learning Spanish. Otherwise, down below, under the, you see the uh, blue arrow pointing to the left says Vocabulary Builder, and you click Start Now, you will get what's on the right-hand side of this slide. And there are various other foreign languages that then you could click on and be able to practice and study that language. So it's really um, branching out of the uh, direct assistance with English. These are all about foreign languages. The next thing they have offered is called LEAP. As you can read here, LEAP is uh, the ability to build and work on academic skills through targeted lessons, quizzes, live uh, and online tutoring, creates lesson plan, uh, learning plans based on assessments. Um, I really do not have, I did not have enough time, nor do I have the experience of using what LEAP, uh, of finding out what LEAP is. The best I could do was provide you with some images of what you may uh, encounter at the beginning. So for example, if you were to click on LEAP, you would then get all these options for you to then be able to explore further. One explore in this and you find you need assistance, please get in touch with us and we'll be able to assist you and explore together. Or at the end of the presentation, I'll show you their email where you could reach them directly if you so decide. But this is a leap, something else more, um, more than just um, the direct online tutoring service they provide. Another thing they have is called Brainwave. It's some kind of software where you are able to create using your own notes and information, a movie of some sort to help you study. And then it collects it in your Brainwave library. And you're able to share these. Uh, again, I did not have the time to uh, experiment this any further. Though if you do click on that link, uh, it'll uh, start you off with this slide on how to create a brain wave and uh, ways you can use that. Uh, if you see there at the bottom, uh, it's, that it's good for taking notes and uh, uh, for teachers uh, showing um, to their students. So just something to know about in addition to the online tutoring. That's Brainwave. Then there's Flashbulb, which is uh, what it says up, up on top, study cards and games. So it's, uh, it's a program that uses uh, information that's needed for studying in creative and fun ways. So uh, 
these could be quite useful with our uh, students um, that you can incorporate in their studying. And the last, the last feature I'm going to talk about is this BrainFuse meeting. It's the ability to create online meetings uh, that you can then share with various individuals. Uh, you can set up here, as you can see in the slide, when and uh, what day and what time you'd like these meetings to occur and have a description and have these set up and um, have multiple users logged in at the same time to create this virtual online meeting. So in a nutshell, that's BrainFuse's help now. In summary, remember, there is the other side of BrainFuse, and that's the job now. One thing you should keep in mind, though, if you are thinking of using both, you will have to create separate accounts for each of those. Um, I had one account for many years and I thought it worked for both. And when I finally had to use it for the other, I was having difficulties. And so I finally reached out to them and they verified that yes, if you have both, if you want to use both job now and help now, you will have to have separate accounts for each of those. Beneath, beneath that is the email that you would use if you wanted to contact BrainFuse directly. But just know that we here at DACC Library can, will also be uh, available to assist you as well. Remember, the hours of operation for online live tutoring through BrainFuse is 2 to 11 p.m. If you want more information on how Job Now works, uh, you can contact us. I did do uh, another presentation this summer uh, on careers and. Uh, I would be happy to share that with you or guide you personally with Job Now. I think BrainFuse Help Now is an excellent service. And remember, it's free to all the residents of New Mexico for all grade levels. Jose, and yes. There was a question about um, whether um, Help Now can be used with a microphone or is it purely chat, as far as you know, on their end? when you're assisting with live tutor? Yes. It's, my experience was it was simply chat. Okay. We have somebody who would need some ad adaptive um, equipment who can't use that particular okay. feature. Um, ask them if they want us, if they want me to investigate that further to leave their uh, contact information and we'll get back to them. And to conclude, just remember, folks that all interactions with BrainFuse, whether they are live or through email or through uploading, everything is recorded and saved. So there is that level of accountability, if you will, uh, that, that uh, is a part of BrainFuse help now. Any other questions? No. I do have a question. So, do I know you said that we had the sign in and everything, but I got on through the invitation with you guys. Would we just Google BrainFuse to find it and log on through the internet, or after we create the account, or how do we find this again? Yes. Uh, once you have an account, you could go straight to BrainFuse. But uh, you could also go through any of the other two websites that I showed at the beginning, either through the DACC uh, website or the El Portal, New Mexico. Um, but it's, a, it's whatever preference you, you have, ma'am. Uh, I would suggest bookmarking uh, that source so that when you do wish to log in, it's, it's that uh, quickly provided for you. All right. Thank you. No. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Again, like I said, this presentation was recorded. And if you would like a copy of that, just send me an email. I am the one that sent out the invitation to the Zoom meeting. 
So hopefully you'll have that. If not, it's um, jaranda2 at NMSU. Uh, and later this month, we'll have our next presentation on identifying fake news. Uh, so hopefully you can see the date there and the time. That's September 23 at 10 a.m. Thank you for joining us. I hope you, this was beneficial to you. Goodbye.